I am here to talk about one of our application demos. Uh, so let me go ahead and bring that up here. Um, so a little bit about myself. I'm a technical advisor here at D-Wave. And what that means is um, I get the chance to work with clients uh, kind of brainstorming ideas of where they see uh, D-Wave te Wave's technology fitting into their business. I also get to um, work with uh, folks on the research side, um, connecting them with the tools that we have, like the uh, Fast Anil that we just released, um, so that they can do their groundbreaking research. Um, a couple of other things about me. Uh, I live in Livingston, Montana. Uh, anybody familiar with Montana? I got nothing, which is great. Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> Montana is, is you know, a, a state in the upper uh, west area of the United States. And where I live is right in the middle of the Rocky Mountains. And uh, the Yellowstone River just kind of runs right through town. So it's a, it's a beautiful place to live. Pretty small town, to be honest, but it's known in Montana for two things. One is fly fishing. Of course, the river's right there. You can just walk out your door, hop on the river, catch your dinner. And then uh, the other thing that it's known for uh, in Montana is ice cream, believe it or not. So uh, there's a company in Livingston that has an ice cream factory that makes um, ice cream sandwiches. They make um, many different flavors of ice cream that's sold in the grocery stores around Montana. And then they also uh, distribute it to the large uh, national parks that we have in Montana. So if you go to Yellowstone National Park and you order an ice cream cone, that ice cream will be made in my town of Livingston. And as you can imagine, right now, with the summer coming up, uh, they have a little bit of an issue uh, with their workforce management. And the issue is, is that everybody wants to go out fly fishing, make sure that they get their summer vacations, but at the same time, production has to ramp up to meet the demand across the state. So um, I'm going to show you kind of an example of what a, a quantum optimization solution would look like to that changing landscape in their business. So let me set the scene a little bit here. Um, so we see here we have, um, uh, whoops, I clicked it. Okay, so uh, we see we have a number of employees. Some of them have different rankings on them, and they've um, filled out when they would like to work, and then also which days they would like to not work so they can go and do their fishing. Um, <clears throat> you'll also notice that this weekly schedule has uh, shifts available over the weekend. That's part of that production ramp up. Uh, so we have to schedule throughout the factory. We have some managers um, on our schedule. And then we also, at the very bottom, have a trainee on our schedule. So um, the last two uh, employees there are, are connected to each other. We want to make sure that the trainee is always on shift with the other employee so that the trainee isn't uh, on their own um, in the schedule. So this is a highly constrained problem. There are lots of rules that go into getting a good set schedule. Um, D-Wave on this application demo has built in a number of sliders that folks can go ahead and play with to model this ice cream store's, uh, ice cream factory's needs, for example. Um, so there's restrictions on the maximum number, oops, maximum number of consecutive shifts there, so that's set to five now. Uh, the minimum and maximum shifts uh, per, per employee, and then also uh, the number of employees per shift. Okay, so those are just some kind of uh, considerations on, on what makes a valid schedule. And then there's also a, a few additional options here at the end, allowing for isolated days off. And uh, we have checked, we want one manager on each shift. So I'm gonna go ahead and 
click the solve button. And so what's happening in the back end is all of those choices that were made, that schedule that was put in is forming an optimization problem. And that optimization problem is being sent to our hybrid solvers. This example used the constrained quadratic model solver. Um, we saw yesterday the nonlinear solver, which is the new solver that we just added uh, this last week. So the results have been returned, and what you get back from uh, the solver is going to be a series of variables that are built into that optimization problem, which you then translate into the actual workforce schedule. So the blue uh, squares are where the individual employees have been scheduled, and you can look through the different requirements. It looks like everyone uh, got the preferred days that they wanted, and no one was scheduled on a day that they didn't want. So this is, this is a nice, good schedule. But remember I said that we were ramping up. So let's see what happens if, let's say, the factory expands to meet demand, and we increase the number of employees, not decrease, let's go up to 20. Um, oh, not 30. And let's go ahead and change the minimum and maximum number of employees per shift. So I'm gonna double this. Because let's say this would be, for example, like the ice cream factory built in another uh, assembly line or some sort, or had a new machine to kind of uh, allow for additional employees to come and work. So now if I look at this list of employees, we still have um, our requested and unavailable days, we still have a few managers, and we also still have a trainee. So I'll go ahead and hit solve, and then the same process will begin again. So <clears throat> um, this is the type of um, example of what our professional services team will put together when they go through a POC contract. They'll take the specifications for the real world situation from the client, go ahead and build those into an optimization engine, and uh, depending on the situation, they may put up a kind of a lightweight UI like we have here. So again, this was our schedule now. We've uh, increased the number of employees. Uh, we've added uh, more shifts, um, uh, more employees per shift, and there's our acceptable schedule. So um, I'm gonna wrap up here. Um, if you'd like to see this demo run live, or if you'd like to uh, see any of our other demos, um, we have a handful of technical advisors in the room. They'd be happy to meet with you and set up a time to go through these live. So I'm just gonna have them stand up. There, you can see them there. Uh, and so reach out to us. Uh, we're happy to help and thank you for your time.